Hi everybody, Logan Phillips here. Now you may know me because I used to be your state representative for District 24. I'm no longer in that role. Now I'm just functioning as an educational advocate and an advocate for your rights as an individual in the state of Oklahoma. Well today, uh, big announcements was made in the state legislative bodies. Uh, and so if you're interested in politics, if you're interested in education, if you're interested in advocating, I'm going to be sharing with you some information on how to get information so you can do that job. Now, the Oklahoma House Representatives named the Committee Assignments and Leadership Roles for our 59th Legislative Session. And this is a pretty big deal. This is going to be who's going to be in control of all the pieces of legislation as they work themselves through the committee process. Now, to advocate for your cause, you should know what committee a bill is in and likely to go through. Though it's not guaranteed to go through any certain ones, we know by name that certain bills will typically go through certain committees. Now, as an advocate, it's then up to you to contact that representative, either through the chair or the vice chair, if you like a bill or dislike a bill, and try to either stop it, grow it, or change it to fit the better needs of our environments. Now, this is going to be an extremely tough year for public education. We have vouchers or ESAs or whatever the hell else they're going to call them. Uh, the whole point is to strip out funding for public education. Uh, we've already seen our state superintendent's going to be working on this. They're pushing forward. It's going to be a fight. We know it's coming. So if you don't want that, if you want to endorse or support your public education, you want to protect it, you want to protect our kids, it's really going to be adamant that you are vocal and engaged. So we have the Common Education Subcommittees. Now, in the state of Oklahoma, there are two types of committees uh, in the House of Representatives. We have the Appropriations and Budgets and their subcommittees, and we have the other standing committees. The appropriations and budgets are your more powerful committees. They're the ones that actually handle the funds for the appropriation process. The other committees really deal with more the statute side of it, uh, more the legal side of things, and a little bit different bills tend to go through those. So in our regular statute side, we have Common Education Subcommittee, which is now chaired by Representative Rhonda Baker and vice chaired by Representative Mark Van Curen. Both are incredibly strong public education advocates, and we are very lucky that we got both of those guys or both of them into those uh, those roles. If you're interested in higher education, we have Representative Anthony Moore. Uh, you may remember him from some uh, news outlets over the last election cycle. He was targeted pretty heavy, as was uh, Representative Baker, by the pro-voucher group trying to get him out of office. It was a really nasty thing. He handled it extremely well. We are lucky to have him in that role in higher education. Uh, hopefully it will do well for our career tech systems and our higher education systems. Now. <clears throat> After that, we have our Common Education. This is your Appropriations Subcommittee. That means funding for education is going to go through Common Education. Our representative that is chairing that is Representative Mark McBride. Uh, again, he was targeted by the Pro Voucher Group to try to remove him from office because he was such a strong advocate for public education. It is wonderful that we have Mark there in that position. And below him, we have his Vice Chair, Representative Dick Lowe. And Representative Dick Lowe, again, great, strong public education advocate. So for a public education side, we are well situated, yeah, both for the career tech, the higher education, the public education, the common education, um, to really strongly advocate. But what you need to do is you need to be effective. Uh, so to be effective, you need to start contacting these individuals, stating that you are able to be used as a tool, that your knowledge and information can be shared with them, that you're willing to help and push any agenda that uh, helps our public education. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, how to contact these people. So online, you can very start off. You can start off very easily by going to oklahouse.gov. Now, this is the Oklahoma House of Representatives main page. Uh, this is where you'll be able to access the contact information for all your state representatives. And I'll make another video of this uh, for the Senate side once I pull that list as well. Now, from the oklahouse.gov website, we can come up here to our representatives link. If we click on representatives, you will see we have a contact way uh, for email, their office phone number, their legislative assistance name, and what district they represent. And of course, you can click on each individual name and get more information about them. For my bigger advocates that are wanting to create lists, there is a way to pull this all off and get the actual email address for these individuals without having to just click it and go through the forms. So if you do that, you go up here on the right-hand side of the uh, spreadsheet, we can see the X on the little diagram here. We export it to Excel. That will open us up into a Microsoft Excel sheet. And this Microsoft Excel sheet, uh, let me hit yes real quick, will give us the email address, contact addresses, 
phone numbers and everything in a downloadable format and we'll show you the actual email addresses if you hover on top of them. So for my strong advocates who are working with many volunteers, this will be a nice member list that you can download and actually utilize, manipulate the data, and take care of it that way. Guys, I'm going to strongly urge you, jump online, get this from okhouse.gov, go up to your representatives, look for your representatives, and look for your leadership. Uh, these are the guys that are actually leading the state of Oklahoma in the OK House. Uh, from your appropriations leadership, your uh, state leadership, like uh, Representative McCall being the Speaker of the House, or Representative Kyle Hilbert, uh, the Speaker Pro Temp. These guys are leading the state of Oklahoma. Get to know them, uh, guys and girls. Get to know them, understand what they're about, look at their backgrounds, and get engaged. If we are going to protect Oklahoma, the Oklahoma future, protect Oklahoma education, and make sure our average people, the 798,000 students, or whatever it is, is able to stay and function and grow, you have to be engaged. Guys, as always, it doesn't matter if I'm your representative, it doesn't matter if I'm not your representative. I'm engaged, I'm here to advocate. I've been a teacher for 18 years in every level of education, one teacher the year twice. I'm not gonna stop fighting to make sure that public education is protected. And I'm hoping that you will join me, and especially this year, we have to fight the strongest we've ever done. Guys, if you need me, I'm always here for you. Send me an email, contact me by Facebook, call me, whatever you need to do. I'm here for you if you need me. Bye, guys.